Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm gonna be going through a roundup of some of the changes that has dropped into Flutterflow over the last six to seven weeks. But this is update number one. It's a brand new series on my channel. Hope you like it. Let's get into the video. So here we are then on the marketplace and what do we have here on the top of the list? We have this doorway responsive header and footer sidebar. Great little example. We're going to have a quick look at that in just a moment. And then also as well, we've got this other full application, which is dropped called the responsive Kanban board app. We'll take another look at that as well. So let's have a look at the doorway app. So here we are with the project loaded in Flutterflow. Of course, we've got the handlebars selected there. So of course we can see with inside the designer, the actual responsive nature of the application. This is the fantastic thing about Flutterflow is you can actually build your applications. You can actually test out the responsive nature right inside the UI builder, which is fantastic. Of course, if I run the application up, let's have a look and see what that looks like. So here it is here. We've got um, a very, very good uh, basic kind of structure here for a website, a modern website. We've got a kind of um, light and dark mode with inside this particular template so it's worth having a look at that and of course if I then now sort of move down the sizes here and move down the sizes even to something a bit smaller we've kind of got the drawer that comes up there so you've kind of got that that navigation tucked away there as well so that's a great example to uh, to kick your project off from the web world so next up, let's have a look at the responsive Kanban board app. Now, in my opinion, this has got to be probably the best application um, on side the actual marketplace. It's well put together. It's built by the Flutterflow team. It's, it's just beautiful. And the great thing about this particular project is that it's a full project. All you've got to do is hook this up to Firebase and away you go. Um, in a later video with inside the channel, I'll actually have a look at this project in more detail. But let's have a little spin up and let's see what it looks like. So here we are with this project running. As you can see on the left hand side in my tracker, we've got a number of tasks which are grouped by their status, whether it's not started in progress or completed. Of course, I can click on all of these here and it will take me to then the task details. You can have multiple projects. So of course, I've got a couple of projects in here, but you can create more and then you can assign tasks to those projects, which is fantastic. So if I go into my tracker here, I can click on one of these here. And of course, I can I can begin the task. I can I, I can kind of assign you users to this particular task as well. So um, if I just hit the begin, for example, it's now moved into an in progress state. And of course I can then go into one of these here and I can then actually then mark it as complete. So once it's incomplete, it's in the completed status. And with inside the projects, I can go into the projects here. I can look at each of the tasks which with inside of the projects here. And I've got a great kind of historic view of all of the tasks and, and how they've kind of moved about. Um, and it's just got so many delightful screens. It's a great example of how you can put these type of applications together with inside Flutterflow itself. So I do encourage you to have a look at this. Do learn from it. It's a fantastic project. There's so much going on. And what I'll do is in a future video, as I said, I will do a more of a deep dive into this particular project. So that's the Kanban Responsive Market App. Do have a look at that on the Marketplace. And just one marketplace item that I just wanted to draw to your attention was this chat GPT uh, template application, which is well worthy of a download. Of course, please do go and have a look at this link that's just above here because I talk you through the application on how to get that set up. Definitely well worth looking at if you're looking to include chat GPT into your flood of flow applications. So on the new features front, themed style widgets are definitely the order of the day, a fantastic addition into Flutterflow. And they've even made it even better now that you can actually take existing widgets that you've actually got in with inside your UI. You can actually create themed style widgets directly from them. So let me show you how that works. So I've got a very, very simple page here, which I've got a panel, I've got a button. I can just go to this particular container. I can right click on the container and I can now say, uh, save as a theme style widget. Just hit that. I can give this widget a name. So I'm just going to call this panel. Just hit create style and instantly it's created. I can do the same thing for the button as well. I can go to the button. I can right click and I can then say save as a theme style widget. Just hit a button. And of course, these are now all located within inside your theme settings. Go down to your theme widgets and there they are with inside the project. So I've got this panel, the one that I've just created and I've got this particular button here. Okay. 
Now, the great thing about theme style widgets, if you've not seen them, of course, is that you can actually create a whole library of these themed widgets. And of course, when you then add them into your UI, you've just got to simply then make a change in one place. And that design is actually reflected right across the rest of your application. So as you can see there, I created the panel from the uh, the UI that I actually had there. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go back over to the actual widget tree and I'm just going to give this particular panel the style. So I'm just going to go to theme style widget and that's the one that I just created called panel. So I'm just going to choose that. So we now, they are both linked. If I now go back to the theme section here, go to theme widgets and I go back to that particular panel, I can now make an adjustment. So let's say, for example, I decide, well, actually, I don't want any uh, rounded borders. So let's just put zero in there. Let's just remove those. Let's go in here and give the uh, take the the box shadow off, for example, and then actually give the uh, the actual where is it elevation? That's what I'm looking for. So let's give this an elevation of say six there. So a nice, real soft background. If I now just hit save. If I now go back over to my UI, you can see now that that is now being reflected with inside the UI. So what's really great about this is that the recent feature that's just dropped into Flutterflow is that you can now actually, once you've actually got your UI actually designed, let's say you created a few pages, you can actually then create all of your theme styled widgets from the pages that you've created. And of course, as you then start creating additional pages, you can then start using those theme style widgets. So it's a really, really good addition that they've just introduced there as well. And the same thing will go with the button as well. I can just go now and change that button. Um, once I've actually applied the style, that's the key thing. Once you've created that, that style, you must go back and choose button. And then of course, they're both linked at that particular point. So that's themed styled widgets, which is a new feature within inside Flutterflow. So another widget that's just dropped with inside Flutterflow is the pin code widget. It's a form based widget. Of course, if you're looking to introduce something like this into your application, it's fantastic. I've literally just dropped it onto the, onto the page here and I can just do one, two, three, four, of course, and then I can hit submit and then instantly you've kind of got that response come back. So you can just use that as any regular form widget on your page. So definitely worthy of a look here. You can be, um, you can be styled up in a variety of different ways. You can kind of change hint characters and all this kind of stuff. You can put hint text on or off um, various other characteristics that you can actually change um, of the actual uh, pin code widget itself to kind of give it the look that you need so uh, certainly one that's worth looking at if you need to use that functionality instead of actually creating it yourself by using a series of text filled form elements Here's a little feature that's definitely well worth mentioning about is the jump to index in page view. This is something they've just added. This is really helpful, of course, if you've got a page view control, which has kind of got like lots and lots of pages and you want to go to a designated page. What I've done is I put an action that's just on this button and I've just got an action up here called page view. I've, I'm going to select the page view control, which I've got, which is just above there. It's called page view. And I'm going to just select the jump to option. Now, this option wasn't there previously. It's there now. You just say jump to and I've said value one here which of course in our case it will be page two because it's zero index based and then of course that will then jump to that designated page let me show you what that looks like in the test mode you just simply hit the jump to and magically you go to page two so just a worthy one to mention so here's another new addition. Have you ever found yourself in a situation where you have a graphic in your application? You go and go from light mode to dark mode. And it's like, oh my gosh, look at it. I've got a big white border and all that kind of stuff. Well, they've made a great little change now in Flutterflow where you can actually have a designated picture based on whether you're in light mode or dark mode. Let me show you how that works. So here I am in light mode. If I switch my UI to dark mode, I've got that horrible looking white border on my logo. How do we resolve that? Well, really, really simple. We just select the actual image and and down here, you've got this option called set dark mode, which wasn't there before. You just select dark mode. You go down to the dark mode asset. Now, I just happen to have a dark mode logo here, so I can just choose that. Now, if I go back to now the UI, hey, there we go. We now got a proper dark mode option now on our images. So um, definitely well worth using that if you've been stuck with that previously. Of course, if you had a um, like a transparent PNG or something like that, then that may obviously respect then the background color. But just in case that you don't have that, that's definitely well worth uh, looking at as well. 
Just a couple of worthy things to point out on their recent mail out here on Query Cashin. They've got a great video on their channel of Query Cashin. Definitely go and check that out. I've also got one on my own channel as well about Query Cashin where I'll walk you through and show you some examples of how that actually works. So definitely go and check that out. That's for Firebase. And um, it's good also as well to see that they've also got a video on their mail out here, which is one of my very own videos here, which is building a chat GPT app in Flutterflow. That's a five part series that shows you how to build that from complete scratch on my channel as well. So definitely go and check those out and just scrolling down a little bit more on their mail out here this one just jumps out of me as well here is some super cool auth updates is to come now that to me looks like they're introducing some improvements around authentication for the use of Superbase. so certainly look out for that as well and um, conditional actions with more than two branches as well so definitely some improvements to the action flow editor coming so keep an eye on that one and um, and update the properties on multiple widgets simultaneously that is like fantastic because of course if you've got three or four buttons with inside your application you can then just literally copy and then you can paste those on a multi selection of widgets and the same styles get supplied throughout so there you go that is a wrap for this particular video this was episode one of a brand new series hope you enjoyed the format please do leave me your comments i love to hear from uh, from everybody there in terms of what you've got to say and what you don't like or what you do like about this video more than happy to adjust it for you guys please of course like the video if you like it really do appreciate your likes and of course subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the no code space and you certainly enjoy flutterflow as well and of course please do have a look at all of my flutterflow content on my channel regardless of what experience level you are i'm sure that is going to be something there for you as well so until the next video we'll see you soon